beautiful summer is here and that means midways and rodeos and time for what's known as the biggest outdoor show on earth. I'm talking about the Calgary Stampede, of course. Kristen Anderson is the Manager of Communications and Media Relations for Calgary Stampede and she is joining me today. Kristen, thanks so much for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It's a really exciting time to be in Calgary, but also in Alberta. Um, with lots of celebrations happening and obviously the greatest outdoor show on earth is happening in full force. So really excited to be on today to talk about it. Great. Well, Kristen, I'm sure your office is very busy these days. What are the actual dates of this 10 day event? Well, it starts on sneak peek, which is uh, just a little bit of a taste of what to expect on July 7th, on Thursday, July 7th, from about 5 to midnight. And then starting with the Calgary Stampede Parade, bright and early, Kevin Costner will be leading the way at uh, 9 o'clock. That gets going underway. And then right until July 17th. So July 8th to 17th are the actual dates, but we do have that sneak a peek, which is a good kind of chance for people to get down and, and have a look at what, what to expect this year. Sounds like so much fun. So the Stampede is supposedly the biggest outdoor show on earth, as you said. So I know it, it, that's the nickname. How did it get that name? Where did that first start? Yeah, it, it well, you look at the start of it um it's been going obviously over on for over 100 years uh starting in 1912 um with guy Wiedek, um and, and his you know commitment to western heritage and celebration and really making it a community event and then it's just grown and and ex you know, expanded from there. So you look at the last few years and how, you know, difficult it's been for people to have a, a needy chance to celebrate. And this year we're expecting it back in full force. So we're expecting over a million people on grounds this year. And that's anywhere from, and, there, and there's something really for everyone is what we always say here, you know, from the Midway Foods sampling craft dinner, soft serve or cricket hot dogs, or just the average mini donuts and, uh, lemonade you can get on the stampede grounds or a corn dog and then the agriculture uh free agriculture programming that we have at the new tree and western event center which is really neat kind of brings that western heritage um aspect of alberta and calgary to life and music on four different stages free pro, free music as well too and free free stages our coca-cola stage uh nashville north and the Roadhouse, uh, the Virgin Plus stage at the at the Big Four Roadhouse, really. That then you kind of look at the Western Oasis, the Arts Center over there. There's lots to see and do, and then the rodeo and chuck wagons, and our world famous evening show as well. There's performances by our show band, performances by live artists, and really something for everybody at the Calgary Stampede. It sounds so exciting. Now, uh, you mentioned how uh, it was kind of canceled due to the pandemic. So Stampede, of course, back in 2020 was canceled, and in 2021 it went ahead with Jason Kenney announcing that Alberta would reopen for business on Canada Day of last year. So it didn't give you much time to prepare, but you pulled it off and it was seemingly successful. How did you guys do that? Yeah, it was, it was you know, it, as everybody in Alberta, um, you know, just reacting to what was happening in the um, in the world. So uh, we pulled off an amazing stampede, um, obviously scaled back somewhat compared to stampedes past, but um, we managed to have a, a small parade and a celebration, which was, which was good for a lot of people. But this year is going to be a full traditional stampede. So starting with the full stampede parade on, in downtown Calgary, parading to park and uh, going for the full 10 days and um, you know, the full programming slate is back and including the chuck wagons which is, is a really exciting um, event for for people and the relay races too which is features two heats this year um seven canadian teams and three american teams including uh, a couple teams from six Sika and stony nakoda um, nations so uh really lots to see this year in a full full force so we're looking forward to welcoming people down so exciting. I know last year visitors had to show vaccine records to get into like Nashville North and a few other venues, but it's completely open to everyone this year again, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're open for business as well. And so we're looking forward to welcoming the community back in full force. Okay. So with that said, is there anything different this year that people uh, can find that they maybe haven't seen in previous years? 
So we have a super wheel uh, coming this year. It's being set up currently. It's 150 foot feet tall and it's Canada's largest traveling Ferris wheel. It's an 11 minute ride. It'll really transform the midway. And that's one of our kind of our marquee rides that's coming this year. We're really excited about that. And our midway food is always a, a hot, um, a hot item in, in terms of what we offer and the stampede really outdoes itself every year in terms of the foods that they uh, get on park and our vendors are wonderful vendors that we have and um, new this year is the stampede powwow so that's happening for um, just a few days of stampede but go going to be a really big event uh, western Canada's largest powwow and it's put on by the powwow times with um, many competitors from all over uh really looking forward to that as a, a celebration of um, Indigenous cultures. So. That should be absolutely beautiful and I think that Ferris wheel is supposed to be like one of the biggest in the world, the one that you were mentioning, that super wheel. Yeah, it's similar to uh, the maybe the London Eye or um, the the one that's in, the, in Las Vegas. It's not North, it's 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 Canada's largest traveling Ferris wheel, um, but 150 feet tall is is pretty big. You'll be able to see the mountains from the from the gondola carts and a, a great view of everything that's happening on the midway. Oh, I'm sure that's going to be beautiful. Who are the entertainers this year? Anyone special in in the lineup? We have Blake Shelton actually playing at the Squishbank Saddle Dome, which is our, our one of our big concerts. Kevin Costner and Modern West, you'll be able to see him on Friday before he heads back to Montana to film Yellowstone, um, resume filming Yellowstone. He'll be playing at the Big Four Roadhouse as well. We have uh, amazing artists on the Coca-Cola stage and some um, local performers as well. Dean Brody will be uh, uh, performing every night at the Bell Grandstand show. Um, so he's really looking forward to being here and hosting uh, the show. And yeah, yeah, any because there's really something for everybody in terms of country music artists. Lindsay L will be here. She's from Calgary, uh, and so, you know, even from Alexis on Fire, um, some other some other really great bands. Uh, you can check on our website um, on all four stages: so the Coca Cola Stage, Nashville North, uh, the Big Four Roadhouse, and Squishbank Saddle Dome. So exciting! And of course, um, Stampede always gets kicked off with the parade. Last year was somewhat virtual, no viewers on the sidelines. This year, a completely different story, isn't it? The parade really is a chance for people to get into the stampede spirit coming downtown Calgary. It's going to be a little bit longer this year, but back to the, its normal size with all of the amazing floats and bands and some really interesting entries this year. Uh, we have one celebrating uh, Ukraine and really had some amazing marshals over the years you look at all uh, walt disney in the past um we've had olympians we've had um, really big actors and figures in in canadian history and and you know cinematic history so it's a really fun way to kick things off yeah and of course kevin costner this year the parade marshal as you mentioned before how did you manage to pull off getting kevin costner He's such a huge yeah. star, right? Yeah. Oh, I, he's a, he's he's a he's a big star, and obviously there's a natural tie in there with the Yellowstone, the production of Yellowstone, which is happening in nearby Montana. So um, he's a always been a fan of Stampede. He's been here a few times, and he's filmed a few of his movies here in the Alberta area and in Calgary. So um, his band has played at Calgary Stampede before. So I think they're really excited to get get things going and and put the show on. So. Yeah, he is going to be an amazing addition and a great ambassador of Western culture and heritage. Mm -hmm, absolutely. You were mentioning you're expecting about a million people uh, to come through those stampede gates during those 10 days. How many of those are from, from out of town? Where do people travel in from? Yeah, all over. We really embrace the welcoming nature of the Calgary Stampede and that's sort of that Calgary Stampede is that that is Calgary and that is part of it is is welcoming out of town guests we are seeing an interest in out of town visitors from the United States which is good to see again people mm -hmm. are now that they can thinking, travel up here yeah people are thinking about the Calgary Stampede and, and factoring that into their summer travel plans so that's really cool but uh, all over we get guests from from all over the world um North America and of course, Calgary and the surrounding area. 
Mm -hmm. And now how much revenue does the Stampede bring in for the city of Calgary? I would imagine hotels and restaurants, you name it. I'm sure they all love this time of year because the city really just comes alive during this time, doesn't it? Yes, it sure does. I can't speak to the exact numbers of our revenue generation this year, but we are anticipating numbers that are close and exceeding 2019's numbers, which is fantastic to see. And that was one of our best years is 2019. So uh, when you look at the sponsorship, when you look at advertising, every and, and our corporate seating as well, and, and our premium seating venues uh, that are almost... Um, at nearing capacity, you see uh, all of those numbers are up across the board and we're anticipating a year that's one of our best years in, in recent memory, which is exciting. In terms of revenue generation for the city of Calgary and the province, we are really a hub of that and we're, we're happy to be at that hub of business activity in the city. You'll look at all the corporate sponsors that get their infield suites for the for the day or for the a few days of the chuck wagons or the rodeo um, and lots of business gets happens during the Calgary Stampede they different companies will come down enjoy an afternoon at the rodeo and really you know socialize but also do a little business in there too so um, Calgary Stampede really is at the heart of it all and, and we're happy to be that hub. Yeah, totally. Of course, um, you mentioned the rodeo and chuck wagons, a huge part of the stampede. Now, Alberta tragically lost one rodeo rider at the Pinoca Rodeo this summer. It seemed to be somewhat of a freak accident, but rodeo is a dangerous sport. So what sort of safety measures does the Calgary Stampede have in place in order to prevent tragic accidents from happening? With the Calgary Stampede, that safety is our number one priority. And, and each year we evaluate it and look at it, whether that's in competition, in, in rodeo competition, um, or our, the, our, the safety of our grounds. So we really um, take that very seriously and safety is our number one priority. Okay. Was there anything else, Kristen, that you'd like to mention that you'd like to talk about, about the Stampede this year? I think just that message that we are um, excited to welcome uh, the community back again and excited to put on a really good show. Um, and really there's something for, for everybody from music lovers to um, Western heritage, to fashion, to food. And really there's, like I said, there's something for everybody and we're really excited to put on a good show this oh, year. Oh yeah, I know the grandstand stage at the, the end is one of my favorite things. Is there fireworks every night or do you save that for the very end? Yes, fireworks every night in an 11-minute-ish show um, to complete the grandstand, the Bell Grandstand show. So yeah, they'll be every night this year. Where can people get more information or buy tickets? Yeah, you, uh, tickets are still available for the evening show, the rodeo, um, and gain admission as well, too. You can still purchase a Super Pass, which would get you on park um, for all 10 days if you wanted for $49.99, available at Sobeys IGA. Um, and online. But check our website, calgarystampede.com for any more information. Kristen, that's about as much time as we have for today, but thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Kristen Anderson is the Manager of Communications and Media Relations at the Calgary Stampede.